Hey guys, Sean here from Tesla Family. It's a beautiful sunny day here in Maryland. Let's talk about solar. I want to share with you the estimate that Tesla provided for us on Tesla solar panels to add to be added to our roof, the design layout, the overall cost breakdown on adding the solar panels to our roof, and then whether or not we decided to pull the trigger on them. It sure would be pretty sweet to charge my Model 3 with solar. Okay guys, so here is the customer layout that Tesla provided me for our solar panel installation. Uh, this is actually a revised layout. I'll show you the original layout and why we didn't like it here on the next screen. But uh, we'll start out here. We're going to be installing the medium size solar panels, uh, solar panel design, which includes 24 panels. Uh, again, it's system size medium, so it's a 7.56 kilowatt system, and the estimated annual production is 10,445 kilowatt hours. That works really well for us because that is about 2,000 kilowatt hours more than our annual usage. So our annual usage here for last year, this would be from uh, February 2019 through this past January was 8,983 kilowatt hours from uh, from our grid connection. And so I'm really excited to hear that in, with this revised layout that, that we're going to be about 1,500 kilowatt hours above what we used last year. And that included uh, charging my Model 3 at home. So that's great news. Um, and uh, here's the design. So here's our roof layout. And what they did is they put 20 panels here on the front of our house, south facing. So we're getting the maximum exposure to these solar panels. And the other four they put here on the west facing portion of the front uh, roof of our house. Uh, so we'll also get really good exposure here when the sun basically from around noon through the evening hours until sunset. We'll, we should be able to collect some energy with that setup. Really like that. Um, Compared to the original setup here that Tesla sent us, this is what they originally sent us, 24 panels all on the east-facing roof, um, which you can see the production here was only 69.67 kilowatt hours. So production would generally only uh, collect during the morning hours, maybe during the middle of the day, and then during the peak heat, you know, generally during the peak heating of the day or toward the hottest part of the day, they, we, the sun wouldn't be shining directly on the panel. So I didn't like this option. Uh, a difference of actually 3,478 kilowatt hours less than the revised design. So really like the revised design. Let me show you here. We're going to be getting the Solar Edge single phase inverter weather system. Uh, there'll be a, the Tesla will We'll pick a uh, size inverter that will match our system size. I'm not sure exactly what that will be right now, but I can update you later on in another video. And we are getting these Hanwha Q-Cells Q-Peak Duo Black, all black. Uh, they're 315-watt solar panels. And I uh, really like the way that these look. Um, they're real sleek looking and uh, a lot sharper looking than the older panel style that uh, showed the grid with uh, silver borders throughout the panels. Um, so, you know, while these aren't Tesla solar panels, um, you know, I'm okay with uh, okay with these because they are engineered in Germany. Um, they are made by a, a South Korean company, Hanwha, but uh, Tesla recommends them. They're installing them and, you know, they're going to be, they're, the estimated production is going to be right where we need it and actually more than what we need. 25-year uh, warranty on the panels and a 12 year warranty on the installation on the labor. All right, so how much is this going to cost us? So here is the cost of our system. I decided actually uh, to pay cash for this. Um, originally, I was going to add two power walls, and that cost would have been somewhere upwards of around $30,000, and I would have probably uh, would have had to to uh, take out a small loan to, to cover that, but I think I can cover this $17,000, $18,000 here. But I decided to pay cash, uh, but it, I, did, I decided that uh, since I'm not getting the Powerwall anymore, 
Um, we do have net metering here in Maryland, which is great. So it works just like rollover minutes. If we produce more than what we need, then we'll get credits and we can use those at night or during the cooler uh, time of the year or on cloudy days when we're not producing so much, we'll have these credits banked up. Cash is selected. It's $17,900.36. And that's because I already paid a $100 deposit. Going a little bit further down to cover the pricing details, uh, tax and installation costs are included. And it looks like I'll be getting a Maryland Solar Energy Grant um, about $1,000 back. I can apply for that after I install my system. That'll be nice. And then I am going to keep my SREX, the Solar Renewable Energy Credit. Uh, Tesla was going to give us $378. Uh, for all of our SRECs, but um, doing a little bit of research, I found out that uh, we we'll basically can earn one SREC for every megawatt hour produced, and even in one year, um, the current uh, cost of an S the current sell price of an SREC here in Maryland is around $77, and if I could produce 10 of those, I'm already over $700 that I could get back, so doubling what Tesla was going to offer. That's why I wanted to uh, manage the uh, selling or, or brokering of my SREX on my own. So year over year, I can actually probably earn uh, somewhere between six and seven hundred dollars every year as long as the SREX program with Maryland continues. Looks like uh, with a 2020 install, the federal tax credit at 26 percent will be four thousand three hundred twenty one dollars eighty one cents, and and I'll get that back in a tax credit. Uh, for tax year 2020. Basically, I'll get that back next spring in 2021. So the net cost, um, we'll add this back in, is $12,678.55. And I should be able to offset that um, by selling these SRECs. The other good thing uh, about this is we should be able to recoup this cost in... I would say around 10 years or less. The life and the life cycle, the life war the warranty on the panels is 25 years. So hopefully we should be able to have uh, free energy for 15 years beyond when we rec recouped our costs. And uh, basically calculated that because our uh, cost for last year's energy was $1,232 from the grid. So basically I'm calculating that. Uh, if we continue to pay this cost over 10 years, not counting inflation, which probably we could add in there, it would be around $12,000, and that's the cost of our system. So after 10 years, we'll have free energy. Looking forward to that. So, uh, and just comparing real quick, I wanted to show you, check out the video that I produced uh, that I put together on looking into solar glass roof. We did look into solar glass roof for our house, and it turns out that we did not it didn't fit what we needed. Uh, we did just don't need a new roof right now. And actually, you can see one of the offers here with the solar glass roof was uh, they were going to put in a 9.59 kilowatt uh, system, which is a bigger system, but the energy produced was only going to be 8,753 kilowatt hours. So with our solar panel system, we're actually producing around just under 2,000 kilowatt hours additional and the cost is significantly less. Um, now keep in mind that power walls are included, but if you take away the power walls, it looks like it's going to be 43195 and we're only paying 18000 for our panels. We're getting a smaller system, but we're able to produce more, which really like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click Accept, and we're going to get these panels ordered. There we go. So I've clicked Accept. And now we are uh, now Tesla says that uh, we are reviewing your paperwork to file a permit. Please ensure that you have reviewed or signed all required documents to allow us to obtain your permit. It says a document needs to be signed. We'll view that. There's a couple of documents here that they sent us. Uh, one here covers the uh, basically this owner's consent form here would be if we were going to let Tesla sell our SRX, but we're not. So we're not going to fill that one out. This interconnect form, there's two interconnect forms, interconnection forms. We have to sign these for our system. Basically, it's an interconnection app application and agreement so that we can interconnect the solar panel system with the grid.
I also need to fill out this homeowners association approval acknowledgement, basically acknowledging that we do have an HOA where we live here and that I know that I need to get approval. So I'll go ahead and I'll apply for that through our HOA and um, we'll, we'll move forward with that. So that's all we have. Um, hey, I just ordered solar panels, excited for that. If you like this video, click like, leave a comment below. Let us know if you're considering solar as well. Uh, check out my referral code. You can get $250. If you use my referral code to order solar, or you can get a thousand free supercharger miles if you order a Tesla Model 3 S or X. And cl click subscribe here. Um, we're going to be posting some more videos on the installation of our solar panel system and uh, a lot more fun stuff coming. So thanks for watching.